Welcome back guys! Today we're here to talk about the Relic of Choice and why it's not in Beacon Academy and Oz doesn't know where it is. So just quick recap so we can all remember. In Volume 5, Oz tells Ruby that no, the Beacon or the uh, Relic of Choice is not in Beacon Academy or something to that effect, that it's not there. And in Volume 8, uh, Oscar tells Salem that no, he doesn't know where it is. Which means that the Oz has no idea where the relic is. I doubt that Ozpin would have thrown Oscar under the bush at that point. He was already in hot water with him. And I'm going to take both statements on the surface as being true. Not to mention the fact that, well, Cinder was in control of Beacon Academy and yet couldn't find the relic. And Salem's been looking for it throughout the rubble and hasn't been able to find it. Meaning it leads me to believe that the relic isn't there anymore. It's not just hidden, it's not at Beacon Academy. All right, so first we have to deal with the what I'm gonna call the three primary um, source theories for this. And there might be more, but we're only gonna deal with three today. The first being that the Ozpin told someone to take the relic out of Beacon Academy after, uh, what's her name, Amber was attacked. Now this holds a couple problems, one, you can't open the vault without the Maiden. Two, we didn't actually see the vault when we were in the chamber with Pyrrha and everyone else. And three, why would Oz trust this to someone else and not tell like Ironwood, who would probably freak out if he knew about it? So, not a great chance for that theory. Number two is that someone's already stolen the relic, who's not Salem and not Oz, and Oz doesn't know about it, but he's hiding it. This also has a major problem of if Ironwood or anyone else knew about this, I'm pretty sure they would lose their minds, so I really doubt that'd be true. And Oz would be far more concerned about getting it back. Which leads me to number three, the theory that we're going to expand on today. It was never in Beacon Academy to begin with. In fact, there is no vault in Beacon Academy because it was never in the school. Now, the theory that we're going to expand on here is a little bit of a walk, so get ready because it's going to take a while to explain this all through. But I really put a lot of thought into this one, so let's see what you guys think. So, if the Relic of Choice was never in the vault at Beacon Academy, there may have never even been a vault. We have to walk through this step by step. So number one, this is assuming that all four relics were in the possession of the Oz at the time, the last King of Vale, and were located in the city of Vale or somewhere in the kingdom. These relics were not stored together, but in separate vaults. These vaults would allow the Oz to have access and everything else. And so the, the war essentially is Salem's attempt to destroy Vale so she can get the access to the relics that are located within inside the kingdom. Number two is assuming that going on the theory, and this one's actually a fact, is that a war that lasts 10 years is not a war that's going well. And this is assuming that Oz has uh, started the war to stop Salem from taking out Vale and building a coalition to destroy it. So he started the war, essentially. But to keep the war going, because 10 years is a long time to fight a war, he needs to keep the people on his side. So, number three, he tells some people about this. He tells a group of elite people, probably some nobles, because Vale is a kingdom at this time, probably with democratic traditions, like a Vale Senate or something. So nobles, uh, some senators, some rich aristocrats and business leaders about Salem. And they form a coalition. This is the first secret society before the one we know with Glinda and Ironwood and all the headmasters. This is a separate society that's being created. They resolve to fight and defeat Salem in the war which is going to be extremely costly in lives, money, everything else. So by telling them about Salem, they're all now motivated to keep this war going. So in the end, as we know, the King of Vale wins. They subjugate the other nations and create the Huntsman Academies to not only train Huntsmen to defend the world, but also to protect the relics inside. But here's the secret. Oz doesn't give all the relics to these academies. He says, I will take in charge of the Beacon Relic, inside Beacon Academy and I'll administer that and I'll have three lieutenants throughout the world administer the other ones. Well, he gives the three relics to those schools as needed. 
But the last one, his relic, located in Beacon Academy, is not handed over. Instead, it is given over to this other secret society to administer. This is why Oz doesn't know where it is, because it's in the hands of a group of people. He doesn't know um, where they've put it. He deliberately doesn't let himself know about this. So that he can't tell Salem if he even really wanted to, if she uh, kidnapped people and other things. They could wouldn't tell him. They keep the relic, number four, in one of the four old vaults that were located throughout the Kingdom of Vale. They move it around, they change it around. There might even be more relics, or more vaults, inside the Kingdom, depending on if Salem and Oz have created numerous creations throughout the years that they have been locked away. And they administer these things. So the last relic, I believe, is in the charge of the Vitalian government, located in Vale, somewhere, under another secret society group of people. Different than the one we know with Ozpin, uh, Ironwood, Crow, Glinda. They have nothing to do except for the Oz is in contact with them. Now there are a couple problems to this theory, and the first one being in Volume 2, we see Oz having some confrontation with the Council of Vale. I don't think they actually would have removed him. I think they had to do that to save face. I mean, they did just have an attack inside the kingdom. So, it makes a lot of sense that they would need to put some kind of face on. But I think this is a really good theory. I think it holds a lot of chance. As such, I would give it a... A 40% chance that I got this right. But about a 65-70% chance that I got something of this right. Not exactly, but some aspect of this theory right is actually what's going to happen. So that's my theory for where the relic of choice is located. Um, if you disagree with it, please leave a comment down below. I would love to talk to you about it, this. Um, if you have a different idea, please leave it down. I might do another video. Uh, there could be part one of many additional parts about where the relic of uh, choice is located. And... Um, well, I think at that point, we're at the end of the video here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends to help build a community here so we can discuss and be positive about Ruby and other shows that I eventually will put on here. I think of adding some uh, uh, the Bad Batch, Star Wars Bad Batch stuff here uh, because I got some theories for that. Until next time, you guys, I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.